Hi everyone, I am at the Huntsville Airport on my way to see my sister for her, I can't tell you what birthday it is, but it is a major milestone. My sister is older than I am, but you would never know it by looking at her, and that is because she manages the failure modes that affect her as a human being really well, and that's what reliability is all about. So I'm going to take you with me on this journey and we are going to talk all about reliability but specifically how reliability scented maintenance can help us manage our own human failure modes and the failure modes that can affect our machines and can stop us from getting exactly what we need from them. So here we go, here's the board. I'm on Delta Flight 2745 to Atlanta and it leaves at 5.30 a.m. and it is 4.55 right on time. So on our way let's just see how many protective devices that we can find in the airport. Now there is a storm shelter sign. We obviously only need that in the event that there is inclement weather. See, protective devices are those devices and systems that are intended to keep us safe in the event that something else goes wrong. There's something very wrong about having to stand six feet apart, but they pack us in like sardines on an airplane. Okay, we made it. 13C. So I've made it to Boston Logan Airport and my sister is going to be out of her mind when she sees me tonight. She has no idea. She texted me earlier and she told me that she's been secretly wishing I would surprise her on her birthday. So it's going to be nuts and I'm going to get it on video. But back to reliability. The airport is jam-packed with protective devices. And remember we said a protective device is a device or a system that is intended to protect us in the event that something else goes wrong. So when we talk about protective devices, we're talking about multiple failures. There's more than one failure. There are two. And I'm, cupping, I'm coming up on one that we may need tonight. Here it is. It's an AED defibrillator. This device is only needed in the event that someone goes into cardiac arrest and that just may be my sister tonight. Let's hope not, but it's gonna be insane. I haven't seen her in about a year and a half because of world circumstances with COVID and I love her to death she's my person I'm her person and it's gonna be crazy so I'm glad you're gonna be coming with me on this journey but in the meantime we are going to find more reliability moments
Okay, here's another one. A fire extinguisher. Oops. Right? We only need a fire extinguisher in the event that there is a fire. And that's not normal. So there are two failures there. I found another one. Let me show you. You see how this door says, restricted area, improper use will set off alarm. Well, that's, alarm is another protective device. So it is intended to sound an audible alarm in the event that someone tries to get into the restricted area. So obviously getting into a restricted area is not a normal event. Okay, I found another protective device and I didn't need to go very far um, because I'm wearing it. These masks um, that we still need to wear in certain places on air travel right now and in airports we're required to wear them. Um, but it is a protective device, right? I only need it in the event that I or someone else has COVID-19. So there are two failures there. Right? If I'm healthy, I don't really need it. So it is a protective device. The Boston Red Sox were a religion in my house when I was growing up. People go wild for the Boston Red Sox in Boston. It's one of the things I miss about being here. Wicked Good Lobster, Boston. And another one. See the escalator behind me, which, by the way, when I was a little girl, these things really scared me. My mother would have to pick me up and actually put me on the step because they really freaked me out. But I found another protective device on it, so let me show you. It is an e-stop, an emergency stop. So, of course, that is there to immediately stop the escalator in the event that something else goes wrong like maybe someone falls or something gets stuck or something like that and of course we see e-stops on uh, pretty much pretty much uh, all of our equipment or you know a lot of mechanical equipment, mechanical equipment that we have we see e-stops so that is another protective device it is there to shut down the equipment in the event that something else goes wrong We got another one. Okay, so here is the elevator. And you see here right above the buttons, it's not a placket, it's, it's actually etched right into the plate. It says, in case of fire in this building, use exit stairways. Do not use this elevator. Well, this is also a protective device because it is warning us not to take the elevator in the event that there is a fire in the building. So I found another one, and it is on the baggage conveyor, which is behind me. And if you just show you, I'm gonna turn the camera around, and you see it's another e-stop, that this emergency stop button stops the conveyor.
Okay, ground transportation. It's time to leave the airport and get ready to surprise my sister. I'm in the taxi on my way. I made it to the Marriott Long Wharf. Right across the street is something that reminds me about reliability when it has gone bad. So now I'm at the farmer's market. You can also see it's a very humid day, which is not good for the hair situation. Have you ever seen any bigger beets? And this actually reminds me about reliability. The reliability moment would be this. See, that's what we need to do. We need to rock it out when it comes to reliability, just like this guy is. So now we're on the water taxi, on the way to the boat that's gonna take us out for the surprise party.